are hundreds and hundreds of statues here in Washington. And not all of them were elected. Yes, this is not only the capital of our country, but it's pigeon heaven. Just another park with another general on a statue? Wrong, oddity fans. The story of this statue here concerns a medical transplant. Not on General Winfield Scott here, but on his horse. According to the story, on the day the statue was unveiled, when they removed the wraps, the guests were shocked. The sculptor had mounted this thoroughly macho general on a mare. <laughs> Welders were called in, and in no time at all, these surgeons with blowtorches had performed the world's first transplantation without anesthesia. So General Scott got a stallion after all. A small one, but a stallion all the same. <laughs> but of all of the noble statues of our illustrious forebears in the nation's capital, my favorite is this. This is the Cogswell Fountain, one of a number of such fountains built at the turn of the century dedicated to temperance by Henry G. Cogswell, an eccentric dentist from San Francisco. It is a Victorian blend of bronze, lead, and granite with Rococo filigree. <laughs> Intertwined dolphins cavort amidst the Grecian columns under a canopy that supports a lead heron standing on one foot. Some say this is the ugliest statue in Washington. Some say Bayonne, New Jersey has no charm. <laughs> what do they know? This, of course, is one of the most hallowed shrines in all of Washington, honoring a man whose heritage continues to enrich the lives of all of us. And that man is John Erickson. Who is John Erickson? <laughs> Only the inventor of the screw propeller, that's all. But where are the tourists? Where are the sightseeing buses? I'll tell you where. They're all over there at the Lincoln Memorial, a couple hundred feet away. That's where they are. Now, don't get me wrong. Lincoln was good. But we're talking screw propellers here. Hey, tourists, over here. No waiting! <laughs>